Adobe just announced AI tools that could cut your design time in half. But here's the problem. They announced 47 new features in 4 hours. So I spent the last 4 hours going through everything so you don't have to. I'm Ricardo, 16 years in design and here are the 8 announcements that actually matter for working designers like you. Before we dive into specific tools, here's my honest take after watching the keynote. Adobe is going all in into AI, but not the way most people think. They are not trying to replace designers. They are trying to eliminate the boring, repetitive stuff so we can focus on the strategic work. And if you're worried about losing your job to AI, these announcements actually make the case for why experienced designers are more valuable than ever. Let me show you why. First up, and this is the one that got me most excited, custom models in Firefly. Here's what this actually means. You can now train Firefly on your own brand assets, your own style or your own visual language. Now, what does this matter? Because one of the biggest frustrations with AI image generation has been trying to maintain brand consistency. You generate something, it looks great, but it doesn't feel like your brand. Now with custom models, you can solve this. So if you are working with clients who have established visual identities, you can now generate on-brand concepts without starting from scratch every time. And this is where AI moves from a cool demo to actually useful in client work. So here's the shift. We're moving from prompt to image to prompt to story. You are not just generating assets anymore. You are building visual systems that understand your creative language and I think that's powerful. Second, Firefly Partner Models. Adobe is integrating Google's Nano Banana, OpenAI Models, Runaway, Pika, Luma, so basically giving you access to multiple AI models in one interface. And why this matters for you? Because different models excel at different things. Nano Banana might be better at photorealism and other models are at illustration styles. So instead of jumping between platforms, you can test multiple approaches in one workspace. And this is huge for client work. You can show multiple AI-generated directions quickly and clients appreciate seeing different options. This isn't about replacing your creative direction, it's about accelerating the exploration phase. Third, the AI Assistant in Photoshop. Now, before you roll your eyes, hear me out. This isn't another gimmicky feature. The demo showed it automatically renaming layers based on content. And if you're like me, with 47 layers named layer 12 copy 3, this is actually a game changer for workflow organization. But here's the strategic part. This kind of AI assistance frees up mental bandwidth for the decisions that actually matter. When you are not wasting time on file organization, you can focus on the creative and strategic choices that clients actually pay you for. Adobe is building something bigger here. They are teaching tools to think alongside us. Not just compute faster, but participate in the creative conversation. But here's my honest take. Is this going to revolutionize design? No. Will it save you 30 minutes per project on tedious file management? Absolutely. And the audience went nuts when they announced this. Fourth, this one surprised me. Generate audio and effects directly in Firefly. Adobe is moving beyond just images and video into sound design. Now, why does this matter for designers who don't typically work with audio? Because video is becoming non-negotiable in design work. Clients want motion, they want reels, they want social content, and audio is a huge part of that. Being able to generate sound effects or background music that matches your visual aesthetic without leaving your Adobe workspace that's efficiency that translates directly into being able to take on more diverse projects. And if you see this from a career angle, this expands your service offering. You are not just a visual designer anymore. You are someone who can deliver complete multimedia experiences. And this, I think that's how you differentiate yourself and command higher rates. 
Now, fifth, the Firefly Video Editor. Adobe is positioning this as a competitor to tools like CapCut, aimed at fast content creation. And here's my take on this. This is Adobe's playing for the social media content market. Fast, template-driven, AI-assisted video creation. And there's a big question. Should you learn this? Well, the answer is depends. Because if you are working with clients who need high volume social content, then I will say yes. If you are focused on high end brand work, Premiere Pro still has this depth that you need. So the key here is to understand which tool serves which client need. And that's the thinking that keeps you valuable. Sixth, the Illustrator turntable. This one is wild. You can now take a 2D vector illustration and rotate it in 3D space. The AI fills in the missing angles automatically. So if you draw a character facing left, turntable can show you what it looks like from the right, from any angle. And why this matters? Because if you do character design or some product mockups or any illustration work, this saves hours of redrawing. You used to need to manually draw every angle, and now the AI does this heavy lifting while you are focused on the creative direction. Imagine your client asks to see your designs from another angle, you can do this in seconds instead of hours. And that's a workflow game changer for you. Seventh, Premiere Pro Object Mask. AI can automatically detect and isolate objects in your video, every single frame, instantly. This used to require manual rotoscoping in After Effects. Hours of tedious work, now it's one click. You can color grade just the person, blur just the background, add effects to specific objects, all without leaving Premiere. And why this is huge? Because you don't need to jump between apps anymore. You can do video editing workflows that just got dramatically faster inside Premiere. If you do any client video work, this feature alone will save you hours every week. And finally, two Photoshop features that work together beautifully. You have Harmonize and Generative Upscale. Harmonize automatically blends objects into scenes. You drop a person into a new background and it matches the lighting, shadows, colors, everything automatically. You don't need to spend hours tweaking composites to make them look natural. And then you also have generative upscale, powered by Topaz Labs. You can now take low resolution images up to 4K with realistic detail. And why these matters together? Because you can generate AI images and then you can upscale them for print quality and blend them very smoothly into your designs. Okay, so we have covered eight major announcements, but here's the big picture question. What does all of this means for you as a designer? And here my honest take after 16 years in the field and watching the industry evolve. First, Adobe is building an ecosystem where AI handles execution and you focus on direction. That's good news if you are positioning yourself correctly. Second, the designers who will struggle are the ones who compete on execution speed. Because AI is faster and the designers who will thrive are the ones who compete on thinking, client relationships and creative vision. Because AI can't do that. Third, you don't need to master every tool announcement today. You need to master the ones that solve your specific workflow challenges. Custom models, they are essential if you have established clients. Partner models, it's a nice to have. AI assistant, small quality of life improvement. This isn't just another feature drop. It's a shift in what we value as a designers. When machines understand style and intention, our value shifts from execution to meaning. So if you are wondering, okay, Ricardo, where do I start? Here's my recommendation. The first priority is get comfortable with Firefly custom models if you have repeated clients. This will save you a lot of time in client work. The second priority, I will say experiment with partner models in Photoshop.
understand which models works best for which type of output. This knowledge always compounds. Then, the third priority, try Illustrator Turntable or Premiere Object Mask if your work involves illustration or video. Don't force it if your work doesn't require it. Then, priority four, everything else can wait. Seriously, AI Assistant renaming layers is nice, but it's not going to transform your career. Focus on the tools that solve your actual problems, not the ones that sound exciting in a keynote. Now look, Adobe Max keynotes always feel overwhelming. 47 new features in a couple of hours creates fear of missing out. But here's the truth. You don't need to learn everything. You need to learn what matters for your work. If you found this breakdown useful, I share more honest takes on AI tools and design in my newsletter, The Desk of a Dreamineer. No hype, just what I'm actually learning and testing in real projects. The link is in the description. Drop a comment with which announcements you are most excited of or which ones you are most skeptical of. I read every comment. And remember, AI tools are getting better. But what about your thinking and creative vision? That's irreplaceable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.